wouldn't think that there's great produce available right now with the temperatures, ridiculous temperatures like today. But <laughs> chef from Foodland Ontario, Tafik Shahada, says otherwise. There's lots of great stuff for us to choose There's tons of great from. stuff. Um, today we have a great salad with uh, lentils, some spicy Italian sausage. We're going to add some shredded cabbage, which is uh, still available in Ontario now. Carrots, which are available all winter. Um, and then another salad, we're going to do chicken with some roasted root vegetables. We have carrots, we have parsnips, and we have rutabaga. Rutabaga? Yeah. And is that, where's, where's the rutabaga? Rutabaga's right here. That guy, that, that big guy right there? Okay. There's our rutabaga. They always they seem very waxy. Are you supposed to, what are you supposed to do with that outer they, coating? They do wax them uh, just so they store a little bit longer. Um, but you just peel it off. It's easier to peel with a knife than with a vegetable peeler oh, okay. as opposed to a turnip, which you would peel with a peeler. That's and speaking good of which, do you know the difference between a rutabaga and a turnip? Oh, well, rutabagas are bigger. They are bigger, but they're not overgrown turnips. That's a really good question. I have no idea what the difference is. They're, I mean, it's a similar texture, right? Similar. Yes. I don't know the difference. Tell me. I'll give you a hint. It's related to, or, or it's part of another vegetable that's here today. So this is related to, I'm going to say the apple for lack of a, because oh. I see apples sitting there. It, it's actually a cross between a turnip and our cabbage. Oh, no way! Yes. So a rutabaga actually comes out a little bit sweeter than a turnip, and the color inside is nice and yellow, as opposed to the white of a turnip. Turnips can be a bit spicy, which is also great. That's right. Rutabaga, rutabaga but if you don't sweet. like turnips, grab some rutabaga next yeah. time. Oh, that Makes is good to know. It's a fantastic mash. It's a great color, nice and sweet. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. Yay, It's a okay. bit of an underappreciated vegetable. Well, I, you know what, rutabaga? I apologize for that. I've been one of those people that didn't appreciate you. <laughs> and now, I'm appreciating you. All right, so we're going to okay. make some great salads today. Yeah, so I'm going to put you to work. You're going to make the dressings for both of our salads. So our first salad um, is with our chicken and roasted root vegetables. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you make a little dressing. There's salt. Okay. You have some mustard right here. How much salt do you want? Uh, just a pinch. A pinch. Yeah. And you have your white wine vinegar. Le so moutard. About half of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm going to get our chicken and vegetables out of the oven. And how? And what is this? Oh, that's the vinegar. What the vinegar. kind of vinegar is that? Uh, that's white wine vinegar. Nice. And how much do you want? Um, about half of what, what you have in there. Because we're going to be making two, right? Yeah. Okay. So you stir that around. All righty then. So you want to add the vinegar to the salt first, so you can dissolve the salt in the vinegar, oh. and then, then add your olive oil. I didn't know that. Okay. So I have our chicken. Now our chicken's been in the oven. It has a bit of paprika and some dried sage on it, along with oil, salt, and pepper. Yum. And we're going to shred that into the salad. And there's our lovely rutabaga. That's you can see the, the nice rutabaga. golden color. Oh, i got to try that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm also going to add a little bit of chopped tarragon to your dressing. OK. Can I add the oil now? Sure. Yeah, once you have the salt dissolved, you can add the oil. Half of this again? Uh, about a quarter of that. All right. So we'll need some for our other dressing as well. This looks like a really good olive oil. It's almost green. Yeah, it's nice and dark. So I'll give you our tarragon. Can you see how simple that was? That's our first dressing for our chicken. You know, you really, what's the point of buying salad dressings anymore? If you, I mean, how fast was that? We just whipped that up. Yeah. And it's going to taste miles better than way, anything you can way buy in better. a store. And then our second dressing, I will give mm. you, this is for our pork sausage and lentils. Okay. So we have some caraway seeds, some minced garlic, and again, I will chop the dill for you. Should I do all and the other stuff first? Yep. So you're going to start with your salt, okay. your vinegar, salt, pinch of a uh, little turn of the pepper mill. Mm, this is different vinegar. What is this, this apple is cider? This is apple cider vinegar, also from Ontario. Okay. Once, once your salt's dissolved there, then you can start adding everything else. Okay. And I'm going to pull the rest of my vegetables out of the oven. So for our chicken salad, we have also our roast parsnips and roasted carrots. Again, everything is from Ontario, nice and fresh from the farm. Do you want all of these caraway seeds? Yeah, okay. that'll be nice. Add a little crunch to Describe it. Describe the flavor of caraway. Well, caraway is most well known as the flavor in rye bread. Right. Um, I don't know. It's hard to describe, isn't it? It, it is very hard to describe. 
It's not licorice -y like anise or no. some No, it's some a little bit more, uh, more earthy than anise. Okay, earthy. Let's go with that. So while you're doing that, I'm going to add my carrots and parsnips to our bowl. How long do you roast those guys for? Um, the carrots and the reason why I have them on two trays is the carrots and parsnips cook a bit quicker, so they'll take about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, and then the rutabaga and the chicken, because they cook a little bit longer, they're on the same tray and they take about 20 minutes. All right. Add the rutabaga, and then I'm going to shred the chicken. And what I'll get you to do while I'm shredding the chicken in that yellow bowl, if you could just uh, add the lentils. The this lentils. Here for you. So okay. this is going to be our lentil and sausage salad. All sure. right. I'll do it. You hold the bowl. I'll add the sausage. There we go. I, I'm trained in bowl holding. I can do this. And our lentils, which have been cooked in boiling water for about 20 minutes, okay. so they're not mushy. They still have a little bite. Yeah, and they're just cooled. So add our lentils. And then you can add some cabbage as much as you'd like and some shredded carrots. And the cabbage is raw. We're not going to cook this cabbage. We are not going to cook the cabbage. And the great thing about this is you can eat it the next day because the cabbage will soften a little bit. Ah. It'll marinate in the, in the dressing. And carrots, you said? And carrots. And I'm going to shred some chicken. And this, you could dice it. You could shred it. You can cut it into chunks, however you like your salad. And the final thing we're going to add to that, which I will slice for you, is we're going to add our apples. Um, and then we can dress our salads. Yum. And Are my salad in, dressings done? I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, did you add oil? We might have to top them up a little bit. I did we some can, oil. Dill may be in one of them. Yes, dill we're missing for, okay. uh, um, for that salad there, for the lentil salad. This is a meal in a bowl right here. It is. It's a nice hearty salad. You could actually um, do the lentils warm and eat it as a warm salad because it'll just wilt the cabbage a little bit. Mm. Or you can eat it cold and it's awesome as a leftover as well. Totally. You make a batch of this on a Sunday. You've got lunch yeah. for work in your little Ziploc container for a week. Same with this salad. It's not quite complete yet, but you look at how, how hearty that is. You've got your roasted vegetables. I'm going to add some pecans. Oh, nice. And I'm going to add some dried cranberries Yay. for a touch of sweetness. And color. Great winter salad that is. And yeah, that could be cold that. or hot too, right? Exactly. You can either take this right out of the oven and mix everything together, or again, for leftovers the next day, there's nothing in there to wilt, there's nothing to discolor. So we have two great salads which uh, we'll dress and we'll serve up that in a second. Brilliant. Well, you know what? We've only got a minute left. Why don't we, why don't we do the big showy thing uh, when we come back later in the show? Should we do that? Yeah, I'll then slice the apples and then we'll be ready Later on the show, for, to have yeah. Lunch. So you could start slicing the apples now if you wanted. And again, remind us some of these great uh, vegetables that are available right now. So we have apples that are available virtually all winter, carrots and parsnips all winter. We have beets available, uh, obviously onions and potatoes and things like that. So that you have a lot of options on uh, on things you can use. And then we also have our hot house lettuces that are available all winter. That's right. Get the rutabaga. I have a new appreciation for the rutabaga. Uh, cabbage, turnip. Cross. That's what it Love is. That. We're going to be back uh, later with Chef Topic in the show. We'll finish up those salads. Now check out some events that are happening in your community. I don't know which one I'm going to like. Great show. Thank you so much to all of my guests today. We talked about the importance of staying active, not just in the winter, but any time, uh, because you keep your joints limber. Uh, it's, it's, it's easier to keep a body in motion than it is to start from scratch. So 
continue to be active, find ways. And if you run into trouble with your pain, Advil's there to help you. Uh, treat yourself with a spa at home. Don't spend the big bucks when you can do it right in your home with those fantastic products that we were looking at. In the kitchen with Foodland Ontario, we're gonna dress our salads and, and uh, see how they taste in a moment. The 90 day fat loss challenge. What a great way using Tabata and her and Michelle Soares's twist on that to uh, get in the best shape of your life. Man, it's such a good workout. And learning about the Rogers TV and Interactive Ontario Hackathon that's coming up this weekend. So cool. Not those greasy hackers that, you know, get control of your bank account at home, uh, from home in their, you know, computer, dark <laughs> computer rooms. But a really cool, interactive, uh, idea generating event. Now, awesome. we've got these salads that smell fantastic. Tell me a little bit more about this one and we've got two different ones. Yes. Okay, so I've dressed the lentil salad. So I've got lentils, spicy Italian sausage, I've got my shredded carrot um, and shredded cabbage in here. The dressing has a little bit of caraway in it. Um, I'm going to add my sliced Ontario apples. Oh, I love the crunch that's Keep in this those salad. To the last. And then I also have some uh, chopped fresh dill. Dill and sausage, I never would have thought of that. It's a very nice, crunchy, you get some sweetness from the apples in there, you get a little bit of earthiness from the caraway, and of course, a little bit of spice from the sausage. Brilliant. So which one would you like, or should I say, which one would you like first? Yeah, I want to try both <laughs> of them, so I don't care. Just dish it up. Dish it up. So here's our... All of these vegetables that we talk about today are available now. Go to foodlandontario.ca if you want more information on those. There go. A lovely, colorful, that'll take away the winter blahs. Yeah, well There's now while I'm you. trying this sausage salad, tell me about the other one. So this is our, our chicken salad. So we roasted the chicken with some uh, paprika, uh, smoked paprika if you have it, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. And then we've also roasted our root vegetables, rutabaga, carrots, and parsnips. Mm. And then we've got um, our cranberries and some pecans in there for crunch and a little tarragon mustard dressing. I think crunch is so important because it's so much more satisfying, isn't it? It is. Crunch and that little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. I would never add sugar to a salad, but a little bit of sweetness from fruit or in this case, dried fruit. And that is a salad that will beautiful. satisfy any hungry appetite for lunch. That is a whole meal on your plate. All right, chicken salad. Mmm. Mmm. All right, I've got to talk with a mouthful. On the next day time, chatting about the production of Axis and Galatea with the Toronto Mass Theatre. Learn how to make beer from scratch. Tips on getting a boxing workout at home. Musician Ray Robinson will be performing. And all about the rapid growth of 401radio.com. Now, of course, at any time, if you want to uh, tweet about us, if you like what you're watching, you want to make a comment, at Rogers TV Toronto using the hashtag DaytimeTO. So good. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you soon.